based on this week, I know I need to get my life more organized. It's like, these assignments was cool. It was like 10 assignments I was supposed to do. I barely could get to them. And I'm still, I still didn't do like two or three. And I don't even know if I, if I even want to move on to week three because I want to, I, I want to really be in this. And I feel like I am taking it serious, but my actions are not showing it. And it's, I feel like I'm getting pulled so many different ways. And I'm so like, I'm irritated. I'm mad. Like what the fuck is going, like, I don't know what's going on no more. I'm irritated. It's like I be I be knowing how I feel, but I can't articulate it. And that's why I'm also in a writer's block because I can't say how I feel and put it on pen and paper. And it's so annoying. I don't know what's going on. And then on top of that, I I just want God to let me know, hey, you're doing the right thing or, or, or you shouldn't be doing this. I don't want to waste 10 years of my life doing something and the whole time I'm not even supposed to be doing this. Just let me know now so I can switch it up. And also, I learned that I feel like I'm having an identity crisis. Judah... I became so consumed in Judah that I don't even know who Elijah is at sometimes. It's crazy. I feel like Judah is somebody that is training for a marathon. He's running, 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 and he switches his race every time. So he's doing the marathon, then he's doing a hundred meter dash, then he's doing a two hundred. He just doing so many things. Elijah is like a crying baby that needs to be nurtured, and I have not nurtured him. Everywhere I go is Judah, Judah, Judah. I when I'm meeting people, I'm Judah, I'm Judah, I'm Judah. Where is Elijah? Like, bro, where is Elijah? Like, what the fuck? Like, and it's like the more that I don't grab that brass ring that I'm fighting to get in the marathon, the more I become sad and depressed and down and down. I cannot allow myself to feel those emotions. When those things are tangible, I cannot allow what billboard or this or song streams, any of that affect how I feel as a human being. If I'm waking up feeling bad about myself because I don't got no streams, you're fucking crazy. I need to do better with Elijah. Like, I need to do better. I cannot, I just can't allow my and you need and it's like I can't even like I can't I can't allow myself to to do that no more no more and I just need to like really just get my time management it's not even I, I would say time management but it's like what do you want to do and what do you need to do and finish these things and make sure it's not a school Elijah and it's like I became Judah and didn't even incorporate, like, Elijah is just like, not even a person. I'm just like, just trying to be this brand and whatever that means, like, bro. And then I'll, and I'll be irritated because I just want to know. And I don't audibly hear God. I don't do this and you will find the way. I don't, I feel like God talks to me through different ways. And sometimes my brain can't think it's a coincidence. It's a coinky dink, which is another thing as far as what we were talking about in this book is skepticism. I, and skepticism and blurts, I allow myself to make myself feel bad because I think everything is a coincidence. If I get a job, a role on a movie or a TV show, I think the normal person would be like, wow, I can't believe my talents are paying off. Judah is thinking they must have not had anybody else or it's because it's not the biggest budget so they didn't you know not too many people apply for the role or this or that it's like bro what are you thinking what are you talking about like that's like where I'm fighting skepticism at we were talking about crazy makers in the book 
and I don't have many crazy makers. I don't have people that try to take over my life. So I don't deal with crazy makers. But I have been practicing just staying in the moment. And yesterday I had a really, really crazy experience where I just try, said, you know what, let me sit down. Let me just turn all the lights off and just figure it out. Whatever you're going through, just figure it out. I tried to sit down and figure it out. Almost had an anxiety attack. I like, it was like so many things was coming at me at one time. I did not know what to even, it's like one minute I want to focus on getting this thing right. And then it's like, oh, no, but then this, and then this, and I want to just figure it all out, figure it all out, figure it out, and I can't. Cause I can't figure it out in five seconds. I have to really sit down and probably take days to figure out one issue. And it's like, yeah, so I was like screaming, literally. Well, I was on one of those inaudible screams that kids used to do. <sighs> like, cause I just, ah, like, like I'm in my head. And I feel like once I defeat my head, that's when I'll like be unstoppable. I don't feel like I have many things can like really fighting me on the outside i feel like everything is in here and it's like i'm grateful for that because it's a lot of things on the outside that can make you bad up here but a lot of my things are like self-inflicting and i probably they've come from my past of course but like i'm like still trying to deal with it and it's hard it's not easy it's not easy One of the assignments that we was talking about this week, um, five more lives that you will live if you have the opportunity. And I said I would be a monk, I would be a teacher, I would be a, I forgot that, I'll do this every time. I forgot the other ones and I don't have my book with me. But um, yeah, so I had those five lives and then I was able to spread out like write a diagram a circle and then put like where i feel like most of my life takes where most of my time goes and that was pretty helpful and this week i feel like julia was doing a lot too that was making me irritating because i like to read for understanding i don't want to read and just say i read, read a book just to say i read the book if somebody come up to me and be like do you understand a lot of that, I did not really understand what she was talking about and that irritated me because I want to grow, bro. I'm trying to get to a point creatively where I'm just overflowing, overflowing. And I, I know the money and all that's gonna come after. So I'm not even like really stressing about the money, but it's like, I want to feel fulfilled. And that's why I feel fulfilled right now is when I'm just creating, creating, creating things that I love and that I can share with other people and they love as well. So, What was I even? Yeah, so Julia, I didn't really understand much that she was saying, but mainly she was just talking about skepticism, you know, not believing that things are coincidences. Coincidence is it. Coinc not believing things are coinciding. Just she told and she had a couple examples. So if something comes my way, don't take it as a coinciding. Just get it. Like and I and I believe in one part of me. I know that everything like everything happens for a reason. But it's like that other side of me is like, is it really like? Come on, what are the chances? Like, what are the odds? Like, bro. So I'm just trying to. I just. I, so I'm about to end it because I don't want to be blabbing. Because I feel like I got the point. But right now I feel like very very, just all over the place scattered i'm irritated i'm mad i just i just i just want to know if, I, if i'm doing the right thing i want to i need you god i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what i'm doing and i want you to like just bring me someone or show me because i don't know i'm like a i'm like a i'm like a i'm like a I don't know, a needle in a haystack or something. I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm like a, not a needle in a haystack. I am like a, a fish in an ocean. How can I make the best decisions to capitalize on where I'm at? Like I'm, I'm living in Atlanta. This is where I said I wanted to be. I just felt it in my spirit to come here. Now that I'm here, what are the connections? I feel like a lot of people just want to help you for monetary value or for some, for some type of benefit. And I don't, I understand. No, fuck that. I don't. I want somebody that can genuinely help me. I, and when I make it, I'm going to take care of you. You good. I'm not that kind of person, but I'm not about to be dishing out thousands and thousands and hundreds of dollars for some fucking information. Like, no, nigga, you've done the game. You about 40, 50, your time, you wrapping up. Like, help somebody else. The fuck going on here? Like... So yes, I'm irritated. I feel scattered. I want to know what's going on, God. I need you because I'm, I'm all these things in my head. I can't do it alone. I surrender it to you. Next week, I'm not. I know I didn't finish these assignments this week, and and I hate that I'm moving on, but I have to move on because I don't want to. I'm just moving on next week. I'm moving on to next week. And I got this. I'm mad. I keep saying it. But I'm in Ohio right now. I'm supposed to be grabbing my things to go to set. So let me not take all day. I'm done. Whatever. And yeah. 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 Yeah! Fuck! Right. Ugh.